Podcasting by Bush Terminal Park near Industry City in Brooklyn, New York. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. As usual, it is morning whenever I'm cutting these productions and podcasts, but whenever you choose to listen to us, whether in the morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, late at night, I always appreciate the likes, the listens, the looks, and I will also appreciate you hitting that subscribe and notification bell on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. Do it if you want to. No pressure. I really enjoy technology especially being an IT professional and being a technician and even going to school for engineering, I very much enjoy technology and I'm always usually enjoying the fruits of it. I, I, I enjoy the fact that so many people are trying to be pioneering, looking to be pioneering, changing. The, the way you're looking at this right now is because of modern technology. And you, you could easily be marveled by it. We are definitely, you could say, improved by lots of implementations of technology. At the same time, I also know that technology can be utilized for more nefarious things, for things for control, for things of exploitation. Um, But that really goes to show, you know, the, the heart of man, the nature of man, because we can actually be way better, way better than where we are right now. And that's just at the core, not even implementing technology. You probably wouldn't even need technology to improve certain things if we were moving right. Of course, you know, I'm going to connect this with how it's supposed to move morally, ethically, spiritually with all these things. But just to give you a little walk down where I'm talking about, One of my people in history who I greatly admire is Nikola Tesla. He was very pioneering. He had an insane understanding, um, almost otherworldly understanding of how the physics of this world move. And he continued to try and prove things. Some things you would probably think he was probably uh, going out there on the deep end with certain things, but then he was spot on with a lot of things. Now, as far as technology and he goes, he wasn't part of the old boys network as far as trying to always make a buck off of someone else and trying to squeeze as much as from everyone else. For anyone who doesn't know, Basically, he and Thomas Edison had a rivalry. Yes, the famous Thomas Edison has been made famous in our textbooks, has been made famous in commercials and media and history. Well, you know, my personal opinion based on a lot of facts that I've read and uncovered is that, you know, he was a genius. Definitely. He was definitely a genius for being a businessman. Um, But as far as being as a highly acclaimed inventor, I digress, but it's not about him technically. But anyways, Tesla basically, um, one of the things he's known for was wanting to provide wireless energy transmission and wireless data transmission across the globe. The kicker is he wanted to do it free of charge. Can you can you even imagine that right now? Because we are so focused on making money. We are so focused on inc- increasing how much money we can get i'm included in that mix too but at the same time can you think can you imagine if we had a cell phone the device that you were looking on right now to see this podcast or any other productions or any type of media or any work that you were trying to do right now sending an email making a report making web pages building servers this man was trying to make this free and i know it's very hard to Imagine that concept, which shows how sad it is that we cannot have life without equating it to putting a dollar sign on it. This is not how it's supposed to be. It was never meant to be. Unfortunately, because he was Tesla was mixed up in this world with people who only wanted to make money. We had Westinghouse he was involved with, Thomas Edison who was involved with him, J.P. Morgan who was funding bankrolling a lot of his projects when he found out, wait, he's trying to do what? Make this free? Oh, no, 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 no. Kill his accounts. Pull back all the money. We can't have it. We're trying to make money here. This is the mindset of what molded us to where we are now, which is why we have so much influencers where all they do is portray 
a type of facade so they can get as much likes, which in today's terms relates into translates into money. If you get a whole lot of traffic, people are going to come giving you all types of sponsorship deals, collaboration deals, money so you could focus, so you could feature their products and everything. Everything is about money. This is where we at. And unfortunately, with everything that we do, technology is a is a direct tool utilized so we can maximize dollars. And if not, on another end of the spectrum, it's been also used as a focal point of control and oppression. Um, there are so many iterations of technology that we're having right now, which I believe it's great, but we don't need to be pursuing certain things. I've gone, of course, so much forums here, so many people commenting about it that, you know, the, the race to go to space as far as we can go, we can start kind of like colonizing things. Well, that's cool. That's great. You know, but at the same time, we're not even proper down here. We have nothing to really celebrate about because it'll be better if we could get ourselves in line and in tune with each other where we don't have wars. There's no one who's who's being hungry in any continent, in any stretch of the world. We should be at a place where people know how to care for each other, know how to eat, treat your body, treat yourself, treat the environment around you. We're not even focusing on that, at least at least not on the same page across the board. But here we are trying to blast off into space so because many people think, well, if we could unlock the mystery of the cosmos, it'll fix all our problems. I don't understand how that can really translate when you actually break down the problems we have in life because the problems we have in life is generated by man man is the reason why we have so much problems and man is the reason why we continue to have these issues because people in their pride in their ego in their control in their thirst to always make more money we're always going to have these problems so we're going to go blast ourselves off into space with these problems that we're having here that we just can't get a handle on you know, we should stay our behinds right here. Exactly how it was designed and intended for us to do. Fix our issues. Thing is, we have we have all the answers already. I have nothing against technology. I love technology. I'm always into gadgets and all types of things. But at the same time, nothing that man is going to create is going to fix anything that man is dealing with right now. You have to go beyond the type of mindset and culture and heart that causes these issues. It's all spiritual. Yeah, I'm going to bring it from technology to spiritual stuff. It's all about how we identify with ourselves. What I, you know, we could identify that we came from a rock. We could identify that we were involved with some type of alien interaction in the past. Or we could involve ourselves with an infinite being once we understand properly where we're from. Because in the past, people have injected themselves, their egos, their political agendas into history, which is why so many people are becoming woke, because they're understanding the things we were taught in school were not the truth. We start to understand now that so many people have learned that what we have been passed off as the truth was not the truth. We've been lied to with so much things that we start to really see the truth of what it is history. I look at the Bible as a strong historical resource. And the more I actually learn about things in life, even to this age right now, I see so much things still tie back to the book. But you can't be prideful. The same pride that allows us to want to go build new things, have new technologies, but then we're trying to get as much money as we possibly can, as opposed to really and truly helping ourselves, helping our fellow man. Again, we can't just look to man for all our answers. We can't. We gotta look to the higher power that created us, where our, our identity came from, where our standards come from. Even people who don't believe in the Father, they have something etched in their heart. This is why you take so much people and they understand why certain core things are just wrong to do or good to do. People always say, just be nice to each other. You have to, you have to treat your neighbor just how you want to treat yourself. It teaches you the book. The Father, Yeshua, teaches you how to eat, how to talk, how to live, how to do every single aspect. And then it has an end game purpose. This physical world we're in right now is temporary. Even all of these gadgets, what I do love using all the time, I understand it's temporary. We have to get into our mindset to help build ourselves up and build each other up. Then, and only then, we should be looking to go up to the stars, which is, you know, a whole other podcast that I could talk about right now. But well, in a lot of, and at a later date. 
Anyways, that's all that I got. If you want to check out the rest of my content and other productions, you can go to my website. It's www.brooklynbaritone.com. You can also check out my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I'm also on LinkedIn under Corey Ashley. I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook. You can also find the audio version of this podcast on Google Podcasts, Apple iTunes Play Store, and Amazon Music Under Podcast. I am also broadcasting on Brooklyn Public Access Television four times a week, y'all. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, both at 12 a.m. and at 2 p.m. Uh, for the video, for the music, you can see all my channels here for the audio the podcast audience. I'm going to have to memorize those channels. I'm on Verizon, RCN, Spectrum, and Optimum. Anyways, I want you guys to be blessed. Walk good. I am out. Talk to you next week.